let's talk about realities of the system that we are involved in right now. Um, so I've worked at multiple jobs and some jobs gave me insurance right off the bat. Some jobs waited 30 days. Other jobs, you had to work, work there 90 days. Now, I get some jobs like 60 days or whatever because some places have a huge turnover rate. But I think 60 days is ridiculous. And there should be some type of overlap. There needs to be something done with the medical thing, man. It really does. It, it, it's, it's, it's a scam. It's ridiculous. I really shouldn't have to pay any fucking thing. I mean, if I'm paying uh, a weekly premium, I shouldn't have to pay any fucking co-pays, anything after that. They should have to pay for fucking everything. Because um, I don't see the point of having insurance. I got to meet a fucking deductible or whatever. Anyway, so like going job to job uh, is tough. Going to a new job is tough, so it's like... A lot of people stay bogged down in, in the current jobs that they have because then they lose insurance for their kids and themselves. And you know, we, we need that fucking health insurance. We need some type of, with these huge ass um, hospital bills because they they have huge prices and they don't, they don't let us know. <laughs> they, they don't let us, they don't have their prices on the internet. <laughs> what if what if I want to go to a different doctor? Um, you know, that's, I hate that. I hate when they fucking hide their prices. Not, not only that, but stores do this too, man. Like, you go to the store and, like, yeah, they got the product there, but they have no fucking prices. You're like, what the fuck is this, man? Show the fucking prices. Well, yeah, you should be going on the fucking internet. You should be able to see the prices for all these different doctors. And they, and they compete against each other for a little... You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you want to come in for a clinic visit? And you can see it's whatever. And it, <laughs> they want to get asked for a fucking x-ray. And you're like, fuck you, man. I don't give a shit. Um, no, I'm turning that shit down. Oh, you want to try to give me a bad night? No, I'm good. You know? Um... I'll bring in my own fucking band-aids. I'll bring in my own shit. Because I'm not going to pay $20 for a fucking band-aid. Um, so, like, all these prices for the doctors, it should be visible for everybody to see. <sighs> Let's talk about... Um, the realities of getting hurt. So, you know, when people are like, oh, go touch grass, you know, go go live a normal life, go get off the game, or, like, go to, you know, like, <laughs> Here, here's the reality of this, of the situation. Um, I need my body to work. I need my body to make money. Um, I can't just work from home. Um, my body, I have to be physically where I'm at to make money. And use my body to make money. So if something happens, let's say, because I like to play basketball and I'm playing against other people, I get hurt. I'm fucked. I am fucked. I will lose my job. Because let's say, like, I, I get an Achilles fucking tear. Okay, I have all these hospital bills now and all these medical fucking bills. <clears throat> you know, and I'm, and I'm just a regular worker, dude. I'm just a regular fucking low class fucking worker peasant fucking worker you know what I mean and there's a lot of people in my position so I can't go make money um <laughs> I have all but a, a bunch of new bills and uh, yeah, it can happen anywhere it can happen anytime man and and so it's when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're, like, it is good to be physically active, and I'm not against that. I'm not against being physically active. I'm physically active, and I think that people should, like, lift weights, and 
But like I'm just saying, like if you go on vacation and you go skiing or something, boom, you get injured, major injury. Like you can't, you 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 are, you can do shit, but I had a friend she blood her fucking knee playing soccer. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like you're taking a huge risk. You're taking a fucking huge risk. Um, by going out and just doing fun activities that you think are fun. Um, if you need your body to make fucking money. Um, and, and that's, that's, you know, I, when I play basketball, dude, I'm so fucking careful. Like when I'm playing against people, I don't go all out. Fuck that. For what? There's no way in hell I can be competitive um, playing any type of fucking sport right now. I mean, even, even for fun, like playing tennis, anything, man. If I go all out, get hurt, I'm fucked. And so is everyone around me that 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 I, I'm supporting. So that's a big fucking thing. And I and I think that back in the day, people didn't have to worry about that shit as much. Um, you know, but now we do. So like. Tell, t tell people, oh, stay off the game, go do, it's like, dude, yeah, that's, that's understandable if, like, your whole life is, if you're, if you work in an office or something, but if you're just a regular person that has to go to work and has to use your body to make fucking money, and you get a, a fucking major injury, now you can't work, and now you're fucked, dude. Now you're fucked. Now you're probably going to be homeless. Unless you have somebody that can support you. A family or whatever. But if you ain't got nobody, you're fucked. Um, that's, that's where we're at. And now you can get like short-term disability shit like that. But it only covers so much of your fucking bills. <clears throat> and people, people are... We have the most credit card debt ever. And I have the most credit card debt I've ever had. It, not a lot of people are in my position where I can actually get rid of probably all of it. Um, but a lot of people can't. They can't. And they have to use their credit card just to fucking survive at this point. Um, because of this huge inflation. All this shit that's been put on us. All, you know, us workers, us essential workers that... We, you know, through the pandemic, when we were told we had to go to work, and everybody else got paid more than they actually, than they were getting paid at their normal job to stay fucking home, but we had to go to work. Um, you know, I, I didn't mind going to work. I didn't mind. I wasn't scared of the pandemic. It didn't scare me. But the, the, the whole principle of it pissed me off that these people got paid more to stay at home and I still had to fucking get paid the same fucking thing, doing the same, you know, like, like, you know, I'm an essential worker. I have to go to fucking work. Um, it, it's, it's like, dude, where the, <laughs> if we're so essential, why are we not getting paid more? Why, you know, like, I was thinking like this, I was thinking about this and, and I, I'm going to forget a lot of the shit that I want to talk about, but. I was thinking about this yesterday. It's like, you know, how females don't give a fuck about uh, essential workers, like people who keep this infrastructure going. It makes me, it may, you know, the women that that love Jesus and care about Jesus and worship Jesus supposedly. How how these fucking women don't like people like me because we don't have high status fucking jobs when Jesus Christ himself was a carpenter like if if he if he was alive right now they would fucking spit in his fucking face and it's just like the, and not only that it's just it's like when here's another thing i don't understand with people that are that are christians how how they make fun of people, dudes with long hair when Jesus Christ had long hair and fucking self. It's just like, dude, the guy you worship has long fucking hair. Like, wh <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Dude, you, you don't make any fucking sense. Anyway, that, that that's just, just a side, side note. See if I get back on track. Um... It, 
it's really hard for people to fucking survive out here, man. It's it's getting tougher and tougher. Um, and people have to make hard decisions. And then you got fucking Biden like bragging about Biden Bidenomics. Yeah, I'm sure it's good for fucking rich people. It's great for rich people. But the average person out here is getting fucking crushed. So, you know, um, so like the place where I work at right now is a, has a fucking union, right? And our contract's up by the end of this fucking year. Well, guess what? We've had, we've been on a contract for four years and obviously the last contract with the pay scale was targeted towards 2% inflation. Um, and that's how the pay raises went up and, and, and. So, like, this is what I, I said with wages always fall behind. Um, these companies can make a ton of fucking profit. Like, what happened in 2022, um, the company I work for, like, they're making a ton of fucking money, man. Like, seriously, they gotta pay workers the same and raise the fucking prices. What does that mean? That means record fucking profits. And this is happening for a lot of these big fucking companies. Um, and it's weird too, is cause like a lot of companies are pretty much going along with whatever the fuck that they did, you know? And then they, they kind of like, I think they kind of forget that we're the, we're, we're the fucking customers. Man. <laughs> You should probably take care of us. You know what I mean? Um, the company I work for is really good. I like the company I work for. I think they're pretty pretty fair. I'm not going to rag on them at all. But, um, and I'm not going to tell you where the fuck I work. It's nobody's fucking business. But the company I work, I'm just using this as an example. Because I think that, you know, I think that I want the companies to do good, obviously. But I think that there's a lot of companies that, um, are used to record profits because they've been like every single year they're used to record profits every single fucking quarter every like this is just what they're conditioned to now and and i want them to have fucking i want them to do good i do because like how are you supposed to have how are you supposed to upgrade how are you supposed to expand how are you supposed to upgrade like the fucking tools we use you know what i mean like <laughs> you get it shit needs to get paid for or whatever but the problem is is a lot of these companies, pretty much all these companies, they they cut corners with the with the lowest workers, the essential workers like us, by taking more away and doing less for us to gain these huge profits. And then the and then you see the CEO making like four hundred times more than we make, and he don't fucking do shit. He's just basically a fucking parasite. He's not out here like producing shit. He ain't doing nothing. A lot of these office people don't do fucking shit. Um, you know, they might do coordination. They coordinate shit. Make sure shit goes where it needs to go. But they don't do anything. They're just fucking parasite. And they make fucking... And they're fucking rich. It's just weird that we're the ones doing all the fucking work. We're the ones producing this shit. And we're not being taken care of. Like, seriously, here in America... The fucking essential workers are not being taken care of. We've had fucking flat, flat wage increases. They went up slightly, slightly with Trump. Slightly. Um, things were slightly better. They weren't fucking hugely better, but they were slightly better. And if he would have been in there in 2020, like, instead of being fucking robbed, I think that, like, things would have got better. I think things would be a lot different right now. I don't think we have to worry about World War Three. I don't think that we'd have all... I think it'd be more peaceful planning. I think that America would be prosperous. I think that we'd probably start getting more united. There'd be more jobs here. Better fucking jobs. Better fucking pay. Better economy. All that shit. We'd be dominating. But you know what? People, people want to vote for fucking um, Biden. Whatever. Anyway. Um... We got a lot of people that are running the show and they're fucking out of touch with things. 
the same the same goes for the rich people who run these fucking companies they're out of touch with shit they don't see how what it's like they don't see the day-to-day -day process they might walk through like they might fucking walk these people through but they're not engaging and, and even the lower level management they don't fucking do shit they don't do nothing and i i'm not i'm not talking about my company i'm talking about all the fucking companies it goes across the fucking board but we're not being taken care of and the funny thing is we're the ones buying all the fucking shit we're the ones that they lean on to fucking buy this shit so like if you replace us all with ai and and robots do all the fucking jobs which is cool i have no problem with that so all the robots gonna produce all this shit who the fuck's gonna buy it and what the fuck's gonna happen with us <laughs> you know what i mean i'm cool with there being abundance of shit i am i think that's good um because it, it, that's the way to to fight inflation is having an abundance of shit if you have an abundant, here's something people don't, it's just simple. This is economics 101, supply and demand. If you have, if I'm in the desert with you and I have a million dollars and you have one bottle of water, which is worth more at that time and we're, and we don't have anything else. It's a dire situation. What is worth more? My million dollars or your fucking bottle of water or whatever I said. Whoever has a bottle of water is going to say, fuck your million dollars. I'm using this bottle because this is more important. But if I have, but the person with a bottle of water, instead of having a bottle of water, they have a fucking truck of, they have like a whole bunch of fucking water, like gallons of water. Or there's just like fresh water everywhere. They found, they found, they found like a stream or something. And they have a million dollars, which is worth more. Well, the water ain't worth shit now because um, there's an abundance of it. So that's how you beat inflation is you just have an abundance of shit. Um, but if you take all the people out, which I, I can find a way better stuff to do with my fucking day than go and doing stupid shit at the fucking factory. I really can. I can go to the gym. I can fucking do this. I can be creative. I, I, I'd rather go to the gym and work on my body than go to the fucking gym. Than go to the fucking work and do that stupid shit every fucking day. Repetitive fucking dumb shit. So I'm for, I'm for the technology, but we have to figure out how what the hell kind of system we're going to implement. Um, to be able to have people buy shit instead of everyone just being fucking homeless. Um, so, so I'm for the companies doing good, but they cut corners on the essential workers, man. They don't fucking do shit. And this is why people don't give a fuck about the companies. Or like, if you ask people if they're proud of where they work or they're happy with their work, dude, 99% of people are going to be like, fuck that company. Why? Why? Why are they going to say that? Well, I mean, th there's no community. There's no, like, they could say they're a family company, but it's so fucking overblown and overbloated and huge that there's a, a huge disconnect with the fucking people running the company and the people who fucking are actually running the company is the people who work the fucking shit. You know, like, a lot of these places are just... Like, we don't even need the fucking supervisors half the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only time that I've ever, we ever need a fucking supervisor is if something goes fucking wrong. That's it. And that doesn't happen all the time. Like, mostly, you know, everything goes pretty fucking smoothly in all these different places I've worked. When it comes to a factory, a warehouse, or whatever, it's a well, well oiled machine. And why is that? Why would you not need the supervisors? On a day-to-day -day basis. Because we, the workers, know what the fuck to do. And we just go and do it. Um, and they're pretty much fucking worthless. They're pretty much fucking parasites. They all just sit in the fucking office all day. And there's nothing for them to do. They ain't out there working with us. Like, this is... I'm not, I'm not saying any one company... This is... Dude, I've worked at like six or seven different companies. And this is how they all fucking work, man. 
pretty much this is how they all fucking work. Um, the supervisors should be out there working with us, man. They really should be. But they're not. They don't have to. Why don't they have to? Because we got the shit fucking, we got the shit handled. And unless, unless the whole crew is, is, unless there's no crew there, we got this shit. Um, just need like a little direction, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to fucking figure shit out. Um, so what else do I want to talk about? Um, yeah, there, like there's just, dude, I am not a communist, dude. I, and I think this whole, this whole notion of when I see people on TikTok say, well, you know, basically like they, they should have just a, a leisure fucking lifestyle and they shouldn't have to fucking work at all. Like that is fucking retarded, man. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard <clears throat> because you require somebody else to fucking work to pay for you. That's the only way that'll happen. You know, like these people don't, they don't, they don't think, or they're so out of touch with reality that they think that people are just going to work for free. People are just going to do hard labor for free. It's like slaughter fucking cows and shit for free. They're like, what are you talking about, dude? You have to work because, um, you got to bring some type of value to community. That's why you have to work. You know, that, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these people complaining are young people, which dude, I understand because like, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like a, like a noble cause. If you're, you're working when you're such a small, small part of a company, like you're so small that it doesn't, you don't fucking matter. It doesn't really matter if you're there or not. It does slightly, just to the people around you. But like to the grand scheme of things, pe like it, it, you're easily replaced. So people, people are just like, like I don't have a purpose. That's what a huge reason why people lack purpose in a big fucking company. It's like I'm not, I'm not really doing anything. Like, that's why I say the, the the corporations are just too fucking big. There should be a limit to how many people could work for a corporation, um, and or a company, and if if, if they exceed, that they should not be able to exceed that. And if they need work done, they should hire contractors or contract other companies to produce shit for them, whatever. Because it just becomes like monopolized, man, and then it becomes like a soul sucking thing. Like I don't. Instead of like wanting your company to do good and being proud of it, it, you end up turning against it and like fucking hating it. And it's a it's a weird it's a weird thing because I'm there to only pay my bills. That's it. Um, like we don't like we don't fucking care about these companies, and it shouldn't be like that. We should be proud of these companies. We should be excited about these companies doing good. Why aren't we? Because we don't have it. We're just rented fucking workers. It's not like they're giving us like we have any stake in the fucking company. Um, like we get profits or not profits, but like um, stocks or some shit. You know what I mean? Some type of like ownership. We have nothing. And then that's why you see all these people, they go to work and then they brag about not doing nothing all day. Why is that? They brag about not doing shit. And they're happy about that. Because they hate the fucking company. The bitterness is because there's such a huge disconnect between the worker and the people running the company. It just, it's just too fucking big, man. It's too fucking big. I don't think that... You know, you can still have a fucking big brands and shit. Like I, like I was saying, you should... Not, it's... Humans aren't supposed to have... Humans are, are better with fucking tribes, man. We're better in fucking tribes. So, that's how capitalism needs to work, is have a bunch of... Uh, tons of small companies. No fucking corporations. But everything is being more corporatized. And it's the same thing. It's the same fucking path as communism. It's just centralized fucking power. That's all it fucking is. And, and that's what we are seeing right now. And, 
you're seeing a big disconnect because of that shit. Um, it's fucked up, man. Like, you, you, you see all these rich people, like, bragging about their shit. This, that, even though, even it's probably all fake on the social media. But, it's like, dude, I am working just to fucking survive. I'm working just to survive. Just to, I'm working harder now to, to maintain what the fuck I have. And what the fuck I have wasn't shit to begin with. You know, like, people, oh, McDonald's shouldn't make shit. You shouldn't be able to serve. Dude. If McDonald's or fast food was meant for kids, then it should only be open when kids could fucking work. But it's open all day. So who the fuck is doing these jobs? Why, why should they not get paid good enough? These companies can be paying for people. They could be, they, but they want record fucking profits every year, and they don't help out their essential fucking workers. And what happens is, is just somebody who didn't even make the company fucking either inherited it, hired somebody else to take care of it, somebody else fucking bought it, and they don't care about the. Uh, the first vision and the dreams of the person who even started the company to begin with. And I guarantee you, like, uh, most of these companies, their founding fathers would be fucking pissed of how things have turned out. How bad things are, how big there's a bad of, of a disconnect that there is um, between higher-ups, like, they like, think they're fucking royalty, and essential workers who actually are the ones that buy the shit and produce everything and, and make the company fucking money, dude. Um, people are just getting sick of this shit. That's what it is. People are just getting sick of this shit. Like, in, in, in my... I, I, I told my...